The FIFA 21 demo has just been cancelled. EA Sports FIFA have tweeted out today on the 21st of September on Monday, only a day before we did all expect it to be released, perhaps even midnight on this day, going into the 22nd, of course, on Tuesday. We were all expecting it, but they have suddenly tweeted this out. The tweet does read, we aren't releasing a demo for FIFA 21. Instead, we've made the decision to focus our development team's time on delivering the best full game experience for current and next gen consoles. We look forward to EA Play members jumping in 10 days from now and launching the game October 9th. So we do of course have October 1st full access to FIFA 21 Ultimate Team with EA Play for those 10 hours early access. We'll talk about that more later on. Make sure you guys are subscribed for that so you do not miss any of those future videos. But what has gone wrong with this FIFA FIFA 21 demo. So getting straight into this video now, first of all we need to talk about why the demo generally is released and why it has become normal every single year. We've had it literally every single past FIFA I do believe as far as you can look back and the reason for it is because it's always been an interesting time that can encourage pre-orders of course for the game, great marketing of course, very good promotional tool that EA Sports can be using but possibly this year Year, something did change and they decided not to do it. We do know last year it was a huge promotion for Volta Football that was brand new and of course you can go ahead in and test it out. That was the main feature as well as kickoff. Kickoff is always featured in every single year's demo and also the year before that and even the year before that all the way back in FIFA 18, FIFA 17 we did have the journey and that was sort of a key thing that EA were marketing to the more casual players back then as well. There's pretty much two or three reasons why he decided not to do it now. First of all, it could have just been a mistake. Something went wrong behind the scenes. The teams might have been overworked. The game development team couldn't get it ready on time. The designing team maybe couldn't make enough promotional things. They were busy with other things. Or it could have just been a fact they submitted it too late to PlayStation and Xbox. They just couldn't get it on time and it couldn't get sent through that process to make it available either on the 22nd or 25th on Friday. September is when we were thinking it is going to be released but now it's not happening at all that is one possible reason a second could have been because of the ratings there were a few problems with that we were thinking around a week ago now that we were going to get the top 1000 ratings revealed the full database that still hasn't come so maybe esports inside they are stressed about that we don't know what is going on and the last reason I do have is possibly because there is no new feature like I mentioned we usually have the journey or Volta. Maybe EA didn't feel that they want to embarrass themselves with Volta again. Kickoff wouldn't really be enough, so they just scrapped the demo in general and they are allowing themselves to have a breather before the full game is released. And again, stress levels are to the max with all of the patches, everything like that. And the reason I do think it is sort of a problem behind the scenes, something they're not fully revealing to us, is because if it was planned, why wouldn't EA have said much earlier that, of course, the demo isn't going to be happening because there were so many people excited for it. It's a huge thing that you do need to mention. It's not something that you just let slip and you let them know. Literally hours before we were, we thought it was going to be released at midnight or at least days before. It is really bad from EA's point of side and it does look a bit like a promotional disaster and it is quite typical of EA. Not really the greatest start but what they are promising does sound good that they are going to be working on making the full game good which sounds Sounds a lot better. I'm sure all of us would choose a full year FIFA 21 absolutely perfect rather than of course just a mediocre or good demo that we are only going to be playing for around a week. Like EA mentioned as well only 10 days away from when I'm making this video October 1st we are going to be going into our first console gameplay full access to FIFA Ultimate Team 21 with EA Play the 10 hours early access. I will be making a video on that. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about the demo cancelled were you really looking forward to it because i was definitely looking forward just to see how it looks new skill moves new mechanics but unfortunately that isn't going to be happening thank you guys for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you next time